Hey there everybody, I hope that wherever you are and whoever you spent it with that you had a nice Christmas, even if you were by yourself that you had a nice day. As you can see, I'm a little bit sunburned. <sighs> I managed to actually get burnt through my sunscreen more than once. Mm -hmm. I thought that I may as well tell you what I got up to on Christmas at Christmas. I thought I may as well tell you what I got up to at Christmas time and thereabouts. I've been really kind of tossing up should I, shouldn't I show like what I got for Christmas. Because you know, not, not everybody gets gifts and stuff, but yeah. I watched a few other people do like their Christmas hauls. I don't really like calling things like that hauls anyway, and I think that sounds kind of shitty, but I feel lucky to have gotten the presents that I got. Mostly they're from my mum. First of all, I wanted to do a beach vlog the other day, because on the weekend just been, Mr. L and I, we were stuck in a two hour traffic jam in the heat with my car overheating, which also has three windows that don't work and no air conditioning. Oh, it was sucked, it was ghastly. But it turned out, the trip turned out to be totally worth it because we went out to the beach to hang out with some friends and it was such a nice day. It's sunny and surrounded by wonderful people and I really wanted to take a video of it but I did that thing where I kind of got like wrapped up in having too much fun and also it was really really windy so most of the time the camera just sounded like <sighs> but this is what I managed to get. I can't see what I'm doing. Look at the seagull. Can you see the... No you can't. Okay. I'm at the beach. I was gonna do like a... I'm at the beach vlog but I'm not going to because I'm at the beach and my eyeballs are full of sun and my, my heart is full of rage. But I'm at the beach. I have my clothes, which you can't see because I can't see. Uh. Oh my god, oh, no, my dress is getting wet. Uh, what was I even thinking? <laughs> I, I was the first one who wanted to go out swimming and I did and I was all like wee! And eventually everybody else joined me. It was so much fun and we all shared fish and chips on the beach and oh it was so lovely. We also spent Christmas day on the beach unfortunately it was raining so we didn't get to swim so I did rather want to make up for that. No as you can see I'm a bit pink. <laughs> I think you know despite how hard I have worked to fade my freckles away I feel like they're back if not more than before. Eh, it's like fighting the tide. So here's what I got for Christmas. I'll start with what I think is like the cutest gift. As much as I like surprises my mum had told me that she had gotten me these and they're adorable. I don't know you might have seen pictures of them on the internet before. I know I had done. This little bestie and Anubis plush set. I know Mr. L is not a fan of plushies, but tough biscuits. This was, strictly speaking, an engagement present a while before it was able to be sent uh, to us, but uh, from my mum's cousin, to whom we're very close, he gave us these little skull-shaped salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> Aren't they adorable? Aren't these awesome? I'm a big fan, and so is Mr. L actually, of like cool-looking stuff that has a function. My mother also sent me this amazing, I think this is like a cake stand or something. Anyway, you know it's one of those things that you can put like cupcakes on. Oh. oh, we do have a lot of parties and people often do bring cakes and cupcakes and things and it's always good to have beautiful looking things to put stuff on. I like serveware actually. <laughs> I've got like this sort of random collection of attractive serveware. I'm turning into such a... Woman. My, my mother has, has given me every year for Christmas, since I was a wee bairn, a, a box of roses chocolates. So what I did is I, I tipped out all the roses chocolates and I put them on that and just ate them off that. Which made them look even more inviting and delicious than before. So I think I ate them in record time. My friend Emily in Australia, she sent me this bracelet, which I love to pieces. It was actually on my wish list. Yeah, like I made a wish list, like a list of, of stuff that like I want to save up for her, but she bought me this. I thought that was really sweet and I love it and I've actually worn it just about every day since since it arrived in the post. Skulls! And she also sent me a bag of those like chocolate dipped mint flavoured jelly belly beans. But I would show you the packet except we ate those already. <laughs> As a tradition, my nana every year buys me jelly belly jelly beans, which are my favourite sweet in the whole world. So she gave me this giant box of jelly belly jelly beans. 
After we arrived in the post, everything was all jumbled up on the inside. Um, so I actually sat down and spent like, I actually sat down and divided them all up into their flavors. I've really destroyed my diet over Christmas time, but once all the candy is gone, I will go back to my diet. My mother also sent me a packet of those like liqueur chocolates. Most of the things I got were sweets actually. People know me well. You know, these sorts of things, I will show you the whole box, except that I ate the rest of them already. Uh, there's only left like the more terrifying flavors like uh, tequila and vodka and whiskey. We also received from my mother these very beautiful, I think these might be whiskey glasses. Well, she said brandy glasses, I'm not sure. They've got barn owls on them. My fiance and I, we called each other Mr. and Mrs. Owl is like our pet name, that's why he's called Mr. Owl. There's no real like reason for it really, we just sort of always have Mr. Owl's art. She said you wanted to give us black things. So I got this like black pot, which came full of black licorice. Also, and also this really pretty pair of matching black mugs with purple flowers on. I like these sort of old fashioned looking crockery stuff. For Mr. L, like the stuff that I want to get him is too expensive for me at the moment. So like in the meantime, I got him this bracelet. I'll just wear it to show you. <laughs> I got him this bracelet. It is made of little silver bones. I thought that was pretty cool. Kind of manly. And also you've probably seen these before. It's like... The other thing I'm getting him is some prescription colored contact lenses. Uh, like these ones, I guess. I'm getting them from Pinky Paradise. And also I want to buy him a pair of platform boots, but that's going to require a of, quite a bit of saving, so I'm not, I'm not spoiling the surprise or anything, like he knows what he's getting, so <laughs> eventually we'll get that. The gift he's getting me has to be made, so, and that's incredibly exciting, and I cannot wait to receive it. It's something pretty cool to look forward to. I also got this really, really lovely pair of silky black pyjamas. I don't know where I've put the top half. I had, like, which is particularly bizarre, as I had it on, like, a few minutes ago before I started doing this video. These are really, really nice to wear in the summer, and they're so silky, and I just want to wear them all the time, and I love them. Oh, there, I found it. I found it. I found the top half. So silky, so nice. So silky and nice. It's definitely one of those, like, you know, problems only goths have or whatever is when you you lose your clothes and things because everything's the same colour. All your bedding and all your clothes and everything you have is the same colour. You have to sort of go through everything and find it by texture. <laughs> Lastly, I got this, I got this amazing mohair blanket. It's so warm that it's warm just to touch it and it's so hot today that I think I'm gonna melt <laughs> if I hold on to it for too long. It's so soft. Mohair blanket. My cat loves it. I've been given instructions to keep my cat away from this blanket, but wherever I put it, she seeks it out. She will sleep on it. I think it maybe like reminds her of her mother or something. The present I got myself will be well before Christmas, I guess. This really necro looking candle, like pillar candle holder. Yeah. I'm a big fan of creepy decorative stuff. And also for myself, because I couldn't not, I got myself this very festive Christmassy skull snow globe. Look at the glitter. Look at the glitter inside. Falling ever so gently. So yeah, I guess that's all for me now. Oh, and one more thing. Because of my failure to do the beach vlog on last Friday, I'm going to make it up to you with three videos this week instead of two. Uh, obviously this is the first one. So maybe maybe leave me a comment below saying what would be like the one thing in this world that you would most like to get for Christmas. It can be anything. Why not? I can't even think what I would like most. Ooh, I wonder if my mum remembers that she promised to get me a tattoo for Christmas. I hope so, because that's an experience I really want to share with you all. I need more tattoos. When I saw that video of myself swimming at the beach, I was like, oh, that, that body needs more tattoos on it. I've got some pretty exciting ideas lined up for the new year, like video ideas, that is. All right, so see you again for another video probably tomorrow. As always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, stay spooky, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Meryl? <laughs>